So a weird thing kind of happens in the camera world where I almost think people are excited to make their rig bigger. And especially with as popular as minimalism is getting, I, was, I thought that was really weird. But then I also remember that most people don't have to go hiking and film videos. If I was just filming inside all the time, it wouldn't be nearly as big of a deal. Like when we're doing most shots, I'm not even gonna be using the audio thing because I want the tripod and the camera to be really nice and light and limble, nimble. But I will probably bring it and we can use it for campfire scenes and stuff. I mean, for me, like the ultimate is when you have the elegance of just, like if you could combine all of these lenses into one lens, wouldn't that be fantastic? Just have everything in this nice compact, like A big part of the appeal for people about ultralight backpacking is that there's something beautiful in being able to have just what you need and just the right amount and just like the right size and everything fits into one and you can just like throw a bag and you've got everything you need. But at the current moment in our technological evolution, you still have to balance form and function. There's diminishing returns at a certain point. Like, if you shed off another ounce or two, does it really matter? And if I'm adding two pounds to the tripod, is it worth the 10% better audio? And how do you quantify the 10% better audio? And kind of how I was just mentioning the other day is you just have to use your own metric for what is worth something to you and where you draw the line. Because for me, like, this audio thing, for instance, ever since it was announced, I was like, man, I really want that thing. Because I was comfortable with the audio quality that I had before, but I knew it could be so much better, and I have heard so much better before that I was like, I'd really like it to be that. But I kept holding off because I was like, this is good enough, right? And the answer was yes, it was absolutely good enough. Nobody complained about the audio quality, but I also wasn't being true to my own metric of what I thought was good enough. And cost is of course a factor, but it's a cost that I was willing to pay. Like, especially for how long I've gone without it, I'm like, well, it's about time. Okay, so let's go through a little more of this book, make some more progress. We're currently in the audio section, interestingly enough. So let's learn more about audio. Remember yesterday I talked about that guy who might be buying those speakers? He's definitely a flake. Well. Not definitely, but probably. Now, it's time to put these dishes away, cook some food, and watch Voyager. Could life get any better? Probably, but it's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Another good start to the day. Time to get right to work. No time for a shower, no time for brushing, no time for anything. So writing music is hard enough, so I decided one of the things I can do to make my life a little easier is at least have a better setup. So I've been putting the keyboard here, mouse and keyboard there, much better. All right, well that was a reasonably productive session. Wrote one song, turned out pretty well. I still need to adjust the melody a bit, but. Getting some good work done today. It is time for Voyager and lunch though, as usual. What is this? It's delicious. As usual, time for a shower in class. Podcast though, can't be taking a shower in the silence. <laughs> so I talked about the music setup. I think I need to put a desk here. Because if I have to move this every single time I want to write music, I'm not going to do it. Put the desk there, 
mouse and keyboard here, I put another monitor right here. Lately, I've just had like a major sweet tooth. Do you remember that candy unboxing I did a little while ago from all that candy that Shirley D sent? I've eaten all of that, so none of that candy is going to be on Adventure Archives anymore. Oh well. For now, I'm going to have to settle for this green apple. In fact, these were my mom's green apples and I've eaten all of them. <laughs> Don't worry, I got some veggies too. While I watch EMH and 7 of 9 talk, I will make some. Station. That was a weird sensation. I walked into here and it wasn't cold. Granted, it was 70 degrees outside today, but that's weird. Something, something burning? What's going on? Vid. Speaking of which, did I mention that today's weather was literally perfect? You cannot get better weather than there is today. Too bad I can't share that with you on the video. But just know, it's kind of heavenly out here right now. I should watch Voyager out here. Okay, so it occurred to me that I did not properly explain this at all. I wanted a setup that had a monitor, a mouse, and a keyboard. Cause I know I already had the laptop here and you know, the music, but using a touchpad and a tiny screen, it's really uncomfortable. All I need is for this to be just a little bit lighter. I mean, I guess I could put the mouse right here, but that's pretty uncomfortable too. Anyways, this setup is still much better. Yeah, this is still usable. Sehr gut, sehr gut. The music making shall continue. Well, not right now exactly, but with that type of setup, music making is just that ever so slightly less painful. Wherever I can avoid some pain, I'm gonna do it. So as you know, audio has been kind of the subject of the vlog lately. I bought this guy, the Mix Pre 3. I was using this microphone. It is the Rode VideoMic Pro. It is a very good microphone, but it is not as good as the Rode NTG3. <laughs> Look, if I'm gonna spend $600 on this thing, I might as well just go all the way and spend $400 on this microphone. Well. It was like 450, it was used. On one of the video shoots I did, I was shooting with another guy and he had a Rode NTG3 and I had heard for years how good the Rode NTG3 is. And when I listened to the audio that we recorded with that thing, I was like, oh my God. The other day I was talking about perfection. As far as I'm concerned, the audio can't really get any better than this. Considering how I'm shooting, unless I wanted to like take the time to like soundproof the room or like do dialogue replacement for all of my videos, it's, it doesn't get any better than this. So anyways, it's good that I got some shoots coming up because I gotta make some of that money back somehow. So my sister's fish are all miraculously still alive. Did I tell you the story of what happened? My dad brought them over. It spilled in the car. One of the fish fell out and was like sitting under the seat for like five minutes. I put it back in and it was still alive. Those are some hardy goldfish. I hope they last until they get back. They're still more than a week. <laughs> so we'll see. But that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I'm either gonna watch some Voyager or play an RPG or something. As always, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. And of course, cost is of course an issue. And of course, cost is of course an issue factor. And of course, cost is of course